Part 1. How to use the product Step 1. It is recommended to position the video camera at a distance of greater than 60 cm from the object being filmed. Step 2. Connect the video camera to the computer or TV using a USB data cable and make sure the four indicator lights are on. Step 3. If the USB interface of the computer doesn't provide sufficient power, you can power the video camera using a power cable. You can choose a flexible power source or directly connect it to the fixed socket. Step 4. For better meeting audio experience, you can choose to connect an omnidirectional microphone or use the audio output from the computer or TV. Part 2. How to connect with the conference app. Taking Zoom as an example, select an LP3 microphone and a camera from the drop-down menu of stop video on the conference status bar. Part 3. How to use the recording function. We have designed a TF card slot at the back of the product. You can purchase a TF card larger than 16GB for recording. Insert the TF card when the video camera is not powered on, and it will start recording automatically once powered on. Part 4. How to switch display modes. There are four common modes. Press the mode button to switch between them. Three hidden modes. The first mode is the panorama plus presenter mode. In the panorama plus close-up positioning mode, press any directional button to adjust the display position. Press the mode button to exit this mode. The second mode is the panorama plus split screen mode. In the panorama plus close-up positioning mode, press the directional button twice to enter the panorama plus presenter mode. Press the mode button then press the directional button twice to enter the split screen position. Press the mode button twice to exit this hidden mode. The third mode is the sound sourcing mute mode. This mode can mute the sound from a specific direction. In the panorama plus close up positioning mode, press the mute button twice. Then press and directional button once to bring up a red box on the bottom panoramic screen. Press and directional button continuously to adjust the position of the red box and mute the sound from that direction. To exit the sound sourcing muting mode, press the mute button twice. Then press and directional button once. And press the mute button once more to make the red box disappear. Part 5. Possible issue. Issue 1. Unable to boot normally. First, check if the data cable connection is correct. Second, if your USB cable is too long, it may cause insufficient power. So you may need to use a USB DC cable for charging. Third, check if your computer has enough battery power. Issue 2. Blurry conference display. First, you may need to check if the camera lens has dust, fingerprints, or is being robbed. Second, check if your network speed is normal. Third, check if your computer's memory usage is normal. Issue 3. No response after connecting to a TV. You may need to check if your TV manual supports third-party USB devices. Additionally, some TVs may have insufficient power supply in the USB port, so you need to connect a USB DC power cable. Issue 4. Can I selectively turn off the camera? When you are unable to share the screen with the remote participants during a meeting, you can touch the camera button on the device to control the camera's power on or off. Issue 5. Can I lock the direction of the close-up shot? In the panorama plus close-up positioning mode, you can lock the close-up picture at a suitable position by pressing the directional button. 